Hello everyone, it's Theme Park Avenue, I'm Eric. Universal Studios Beijing recently opened with one of the most impressive dark rides ever crafted, Jurassic World Adventure. The ride wowed many, with its great ride system, perfect combination of screens and practical sets, and especially its lifelike dinosaur animatronics. The highlight of this ride seems to be a moment where a massive Idominus Rex is chasing the car. In this video, I will explain how this impressive effect works, and immerses riders in one of the most riveting moments of any theme park ride. To understand how the animatronic follows the ride vehicle, we must first understand the ride vehicle itself. Jurassic World Adventure is a 3D motion-based dark ride, and it uses the same ride system as The Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man and Transformers the Ride which are also found at Universal Parks. The designer of this ride mechanism is Oceaneering International. The ride system involves a track roaming platform with the main seating area mounted on top. The ride vehicle, the main seating area that is, sits on a Stewart platform. A Stewart platform is a parallel manipulator that in simple terms allows a diverse array of motion through the extension and shortening of six linear actuators or hydraulic jacks that are all attached to a different part of the base plate. This image shows the general movement of the Stewart platform, which allows 6 degrees of freedom. Each degree is a different direction of motion the car can make. Theta degrees are the typical X, Y, and Z axes found on a 3D plane, and the others are movements similar to arcs along each axis that change the direction which the vehicle is pointing, known as yaw, pitch, and roll. The yaw motor, also attached to the vehicle, allows for full 360 degree rotations. Each vehicle also has a motor that controls the door on the right side of the vehicle, allowing riders to enter and exit the vehicle when necessary, but this is not necessary to the movement of the main vehicle during the main scene, which we will not discuss. As the vehicle moves away from a broken gyrosphere, the vehicle yaws to the left to face the most impressive dinosaur animatronic on the ride. For the next couple seconds, the dinosaur follows the backwards moving vehicle. It makes massive motions to simulate each individual stride the dinosaur will be taking in real life if it were actually walking towards something. The whole thing seems very realistic, apart from the fact that it's a dinosaur, of course. But this animatronic can't actually be following the car, can it? Well, it can. The massive animatronic moves along a circular track that follows the motion of your vehicle, and this animatronic sits atop a moving platform of its own. The base plate is moved around the track with wheels, similar to the ride vehicle. This allows the dinosaur to follow the motion path of the vehicle until the circular path ends, and the ride vehicle quickly turns 180 degrees to hide the dinosaur returning to its original position. Now you may be thinking the dinosaur's return trip is an awkward reverse motion, but no. The platform holding the Idominus Rex is on a circular track at a constant speed. This allows the animatronic to be at the proper starting position just as the next ride vehicle reaches the point of the ride where it yaws like the previous one did. The timing is very important so the vehicles are dispatched at a very constant rate that allows the animatronic to chase every car and seal the illusion. The animatronic itself has surprisingly fluid movements, but they are similar to the T-Rex animatronic found on Jurassic Park River Adventure. The massive metal framework is similar to the actual animal's body with several joints. Designing the animatronics also involves making muscles that are powered by motors and a variety of electric currents that act as a nervous system. Hydraulics are the ultimate power source to move such a large animatronic, and as animatronic movement has advanced quite a bit, so have their realism. Animatronics can be coated in clay, plaster, and much more, and sculpting to make the dinosaur's skin look lifelike, and the silicone or skin that is laid over the mold is cured for a while before it becomes solid and is ready to actually put on top of the dinosaur. This has a very similar texture to the kind of skin you'd expect on a dinosaur, so it really does steal that lifelike illusion. And finally, an airbrush is used to paint the dinosaur. And now the massive mechanical marvel is ready for operation. The animatronic is over 7 tons, 40 feet long, and 20 feet tall. It has realistic mouth movements, eye movements, nostril movements, throat movements, and much more. Overall, the fluid movements of the ride vehicles, the dinosaur's platform, and the IREX animatronic all work together to make one of the most immersive and mind-blowing scenes in any theme park ride. And that is part of why Jurassic World Adventure is now considered one of the best and most impressive dark rides in the world. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this engineering-based video. Subscribe for more theme park content, I'll see you next time.